huh? And the rock's going, hey yeah, hey yeah. There's a big Sasquatch-sized animal tried to jump out, attack its prey of some sort. And you can see that there was a scuffle here on the ground. My senses are telling me. Yeah. But I think what I think you can tell here, like his hand, you can see his foot here, but much larger than my foot. A hand. He was definitely sneaking on something. And he, he spun out and then he was facing this way. I'm not sure. And I can tell just by the footprints he weighs 356 pounds. <laughs> Size exactly. 19th <laughs> broken that is a good day. Steelhead fishing in Alaska, you know, it's just one of those things. Once you've done it, you just can't wait to get back. You know, we get to head back to Alaska. It's such a great opportunity. Glacier Bear Lodge reached out. We're gonna go meet up with my friend Jared, who's a crazy steelhead nut, if you watch the shows from last year. Jared and I get to pick apart this river in Alaska again in the, on the Sea Tuck. Yeah. Can't wait. We're waiting for that guy right there. There he is. He's about to get a roundhouse to the face wearing these babies. Hi, buddy. I did my hair for you. <laughs> you got a mohawk. I got a mohawk. Well, I wanted to be seven feet tall, I made it. <laughs> so my buddy Jared from Yakima Bay, he's figured that for whatever reason now, when we meet up in Alaska, that he's got to dress up. Yeah. Wild fish, wild places. <laughs> my name is Tex Kwon Do. Do. Oh boy, it's Rex Kwon Do. I mean, a seven foot tall dude an American flag outfit with a mohawk and size 19 shoe Air Jordan. There's my friend right there. <laughs> That's the way you start off a fishing trip. <laughs> we're, we're, we're expecting a special Yes. One of the reasons we're coming to Glacier Bear is we know all of our friends. Our friends guide up here. So of course, Steve Chrysler and little Jared show up with big Jared to meet us at the, at the airport. But first, we're gonna get down to some business and talk fishing. We just went and you know, a little R and D. Nice. And they're there, and we're gonna have to earn them. Yeah. But you know the program? Uh, like it's a very vibe. similar, exactly. In the same spots, those first first two holes out of the gate, you know? Yeah, they're there. Got one of them. For me, steelhead fishing is my favorite thing to do ever, right? Like, I love steelhead. I catch a lot of fish across the country, but steelhead fishing is my favorite thing to do. And steelhead fishing in Alaska has now become my favorite, on top of my favorite thing to do. And then steelhead fishing in Alaska with my buddy Dennis has become my favorite, on top of my favorite, on top of my favorite thing to do. And when I get back here, it's just like, I don't know, it's just the coolest thing ever. For me, it's, it's, it's the overall experience from top to bottom, left to right. You know what the coolest part about my entire outfit is? is I got a knife to match it. God bless America. God bless America. <laughs> Look at a knife. That right there, if you're in Missouri, you'd call that biscuits and gravy because you just got fed, son. <laughs> so as you can see here dog, with the, uh, the, like the pre-game meeting with everybody, and what we learned last year, it was all a plug bite. It was uh, the water temps were cold, the fish were a little lethargic, but they were there. And the only thing that was doing any good consistently was plug fishing. And Jared and I put that pattern together. We crushed them out. Um, we just, it got better and better as the, the week went on. And so we kind of refined everything that we learned last year, talking to all our buddies here. And we came back with a game plan. It's not gonna be much different, but we've got no. a little bit of different ideas and, and different things. You know?
know, we go to bed super excited and we feel like we've got a really good game plan, you know, to hammer out some steelhead tomorrow. This is why I don't roll in an Escalade, not because I'm not a straight up player, because I am. I just can't get in it. <laughs> Wake up in the morning, first day of any trip, you're just like, can't sleep. So excited. Oh, yeah. God, the steelhead are just waiting. We made a we made a decision last night after talking to everybody that um, our strategy was going to be similar to what we did last year and even the year before that when we came, and that is put on later than all the other boats. So everybody got up, and there's three or four different lodges here. So everybody gets to the boat launch at roughly the same time, and they're just big aluminum boat armada that just jumps around from hole to hole and crowds each other out and you know especially our first day learning the river again we decided to hold back we need to get our gear ready and, and, and take a little bit of time that way we let everybody get down below the holes rest and then we can come through there and absolutely wreck them every day you got to put the pieces of the puzzle together once you figure the puzzle out, even the next day, the light conditions change, water conditions change. A lot of times it's not exactly the same the next day. Sometimes it is, but a lot of the times that changes too. But year to year, that's what's fun. It's like the challenge of figuring out what the puzzle is before you. And you know that's why we love to do this so much is, is that element of, of the fishing, you know, that element of the sport rather than just catching the fish. Of course, landing a 20 pound steelhead is also a lot of fun. So Jerry keeps mentioning, it just doesn't feel right to him with the plug. It feels like more bobber water. So we stop, we get out, and he starts throwing a, a bobber, a float and a jig, and immediately hooks a fish. Baby. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Broke the ice. Broke the ice on, yeah. the, on the hair jig. Yeah. That's Beautiful. a 16th ounce maxi jig, baby. Right on. You got your Look at that. We got our first Sea Tuck Steelhead of the trip right here. 16th on the, ounce maxi jig. Something we didn't catch any fish on last time. Nah, you got to change it up though. We've tried everything today in this low clear water. I do well on jigs, so obviously this beautiful fish uh, wanted it as bad as we wanted him, so. Look at the pretty gill plate though. Look at that, look at that color right there. It's gorgeous on all the neat spots. A few spots on his head, beautiful spots on his tail. Well, she's ready to go back. There you go. See you, buddy. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Fish. Boom! <laughs> yeah. Piece of the puzzle starting to come together. Start paying attention to some of that stuff. Oh, dude, it's taking me too. <laughs> My camera guy is helping put a rod out for us, and he's like, What's going on? And the rod's going, hey -ya, hey -ya. You gotta love that. Maglip takedowns are so much fun for steelhead, right? And this fish, you know, gave us a little show, but when you're plugging for steelhead, it's just something that it's in your blood. And... <laughs> Sometimes you gotta trick them. Look at that. On the pink. On the pink. Misty river. Beautiful fish. Nice and colored up. Look at that. Yeah, what a gorgeous fish, man. You gotta love that. That plug takedown and the and the the fight afterwards. And plug fish are just more aggressive. When you it's like Jared was saying, when you when you get that one takedown on a plug, you want it over and over. Just like drugs for me. Like, I don't want anything else. I, I mean the barber's cool, I like but I want to see that plug take I, down. It's, it's addicting, man. It's just something that's just a unique deal. All right, buddy. Thank you, Mr. Fish. See you later. <laughs> yeah. Just a matter of time. Had a baby. Had a baby. <laughs> yes. All right. Dude, nice. on the out, so that was the outside plug. Yeah. It was about 20 feet from the boat. Yeah. So I don't think the or thing is a deal. No. I don't know. It's fine trying to figure it out, but pink and blue was the jig I got the fish on. Pink right. and blue is the plug, so. Maybe it's a color pattern, but if you look at the water right here, you can see where it darkens up in that small stretch. And that's where that that's where this pink plug was, is right there. 
and that's where you bit it. So, you know, you got faster flowing water than we have been plugging. So yeah. I think that's what we look for. And, and it was too, like at the top, I said like, you know what, let's plug it, let's plug it. It, it actually looks good, it, it looks did. right. And yep. that's the whole putting the pieces of the puzzle together. You yep. know, you start feeling what looks good. And the rest of this still looks pretty good. It's yeah. a little shallower, but. A little shallow, not bad though. When awesome. you overlook, you know, we kind of put a piece of the puzzle together. So now we yeah. just fine tune the motor. So we've got a little bit of the puzzle together something pink.